Hi everyone, happy Thursday. I am completely barefaced today. I am, it is 95 degrees here today and between having some errands to run, I had an OB appointment. I was like, there's just no way, the makeup's just gonna melt right off. So this is the version of me that you get today. Um, so we are 37 weeks pregnant today feeling 37 weeks pregnant today. <laughs> um, so I am going to be doing Hazel's nursery tour finally. The only thing we are missing in this room is my end table and it's not going to be here until after the 12th and I don't want to risk going into labor before then and not having made this video before she gets here. So we're going to do that. Um, but first I'm going to give you guys a few updates and show the bump. So Updates wise, um, I did have my first cervical check last week. Um, I have a really high cervix. I've been told that by just about every OB I've ever been to. So when my doctor went to check me, she's like, I can't even reach it. She's like, I can tell that you're about 70% effaced or like thinned out, but I can't see if you're dilated. So I don't really know if I'm dilated. Um, and then when I went back today, I saw a different doctor and she was like, I'm not gonna put you through that. Um, and of course, you know, cervical checks aren't even a good indication of when labor is coming anyways. So she just checked, she made sure that I wasn't leaking any type of like amniotic fluid or anything like that, which I wasn't, um, and sent me on my way. The only thing that she did say was that my blood pressure was a little bit high. And if I go next week, and it's still high or it's higher than it was this time, then we'll have to discuss um, delivering early, which I'm okay with delivering early, but I do not want Pitocin. So um, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I just go back next week and everything's fine. But I wasn't really shocked that my blood pressure was high because of how bad my swelling's been. Um, so anyway, that's how that's been going. Um, everything's the same, just in a lot of pain, lots of pressure, like it's all the same stuff. It's just that end of, you know, pregnancy waiting game now. But anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys my bump really quick. Okay, so this is 37 weeks. where we're at and without further ado let's get into the nursery tour i'm so excited for you guys to see this okay so this is her door this is what you would see upon first look so get that closed so on this wall, we have her bow organization. This isn't even half of her bows. Um, I'm thinking about actually getting a second one of these. Um, but this will be linked in my Amazon storefront, which will be linked below for you guys um, if you want to order that for yourself. So that is her bow organizer. Next, we have her closet, which is probably the messiest part of the nursery right now because everything's just kind of shoved in here but obviously we have lots of clothes some different play mats up there and extra blankets on this side we have all of her wraps and things her diapers wipes all that kind of good stuff and then on this side i just have a few organizers um this one has all of her teethers, toys, loveys, things of that nature. All that good stuff. This one has some extra hats and this is the rest of her bow collection as of right now. So lots of bows. And then up here is really just miscellaneous stuff, honestly. <laughs> Um, and then down here we have some jackets and those are all of her like bigger clothes that she doesn't need right away. So that is basically her closet. Over here we have the glider. This is where the little end table is going to go when it finally comes in. We finally got curtains in here. Really pretty. 
So those are all set with the golden curtain rods. And then we have her little bookshelves. So these are really cute. I got these from Amazon as well. These will also be linked in my storefront. Down here we have two of her Alice prints. I did hand make the frames. I just did moss and like cool little cutouts. So we have Alice and the rabbit. So this is that corner. Sorry, you guys can hear me like heavy breathing. <laughs> Whew. Um, then over here, obviously we have her space heater. We are gonna get a cover for this eventually, but they're like $300. So we're just holding off for a little bit. Um, we have two more Alice prints here. Um, we have Cheshire Cat and the Caterpillar or Absalom. And then I still have a few more things to put on this shelf, but this is her little teacup collection, her little rabbit, super, super cute. And then if we pan this way, we have her adorable little white rabbit rug with her beautiful crib. Let me see if I can back up a little more. There we go. So that is her crib inside her crib we have her little mad hatter bear her first bear and this cute little doll i got i think i got it at tj maxx or marshall's um and then she has a cute little white rabbit hugging her crib on this side we have two prints again with some handmade frames and then her handmade letters that i made with the gold butterflies around it and then we have the mobile that my mom had made. I think I showed this in a video already. Interesting that it plays a Christmas song. Um, plays a few different ones. Are they all Christmas? No, some of them are, or maybe they are. I don't know. That would be so funny. I'll have to like go through them all later and see if that's what they are. Because if so, I'm probably going to have to get a different one. I don't know if I could do Christmas music all year long. Not a different mobile, but just a different sound box, obviously. I wouldn't get a different mobile, but um, yeah. So there is the Alice mobile that my mom had made. And then in her crib, obviously we have the mattress and the sheet. I'll try to put this in my Amazon storefront as well. And then I just have her boppy in here, one of her boppies. Um, and then panning this way, we have the Mad Hatter and her little mirror and her Queen of Hearts print. Let me back up here so you can get the full. I do still need a knob. Well, knobs for the top, but this is this little area. I just have her Bumbo changing pad, the Alice in Wonderland flower bouquet that my mom had made. Um, this is one of those adorable little mushroom containers from Target where I just have her pacifiers. And then I just have some other cute stuff here. Some more little bows. And here I have Passy Clips, some like medical items, and that's just extra butterfly stickers. And then in her drawers, this is our diapering drawer. So we have all of our diapers, our wipes, some baby Tylenol, baby Eucerin, and then our monitor that we have to put up. In the next drawer down, I have all of her newborn and zero to three sleepers. And then at the very bottom, I have her newborn and zero to three onesies and more zero to three sleepers. So that is that side of the dresser. On this side, I have all of her 
fancy socks, scratch mittens, regular socks. These are just a couple burp cloths that didn't fit in the burp cloth drawer. Um, in this drawer, I have hats. She has a bunch of hats here and back there. These are muslin bibs, and then these are bandana bibs. So all bibs and hats in here. And then down here is all burp cloths, muslin swaddles, and receiving blankets. And then on the side of the crib, I just have this basket with her extra swaddles and linens in it. So like extra bassinet sheets, crib sheets, um, extra blankets and stuff like that. And then we have our Ubi diaper pail. I haven't put a bag in it yet. No need to really yet. And that is pretty much it. That is the whole kind of nursery in detail. So I'm super excited about it. Like I said, we just have an end table coming that's gonna go over here for pumping purposes. But overall, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I promise next video, lord willing will be my hospital bag video because it is just about done being packed um the only other thing i wanted to touch on in this video i'm gonna sit in the glider because i'm literally out of breath Ugh. um someone had asked in my last video if i could touch on um embarrassing symptoms um like excessive gas and stuff like that i don't really know why anyone wants to know but um yeah i feel like gas in the third trimester is crazy and gas in the beginning of pregnancy is crazy um it hasn't like bothered me personally because i'm just not embarrassed by things like that but i could see how for someone else that's a little bit more like reserved than me it would bother them but other than that not really i just walk around being all swollen like a balloon and that kind of is embarrassing like even my face is swollen I have never looked this bad, <laughs> honestly. Like my skin, my face in general, like has never been so